Okay, this is a follow-on video for the HK450 build. We're going to be installing a uh, DX6 Spectrum radio system. It was donated by Bill Bishop. Uh, this is an older Park Flyer system, so it's DSM technology, and we're going to have to use the D, uh, DSM receiver that came with it, the AR6000. Um, not an issue. I went ahead and mounted the receiver in the same place I had the 6100. Same channel assignments, not an issue. Safety uh, precautions, I disconnected two of my motor wires so I don't have to worry about the aircraft spinning up while it's in there on the, in the shop. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is set up the radio. First off, we'll turn the radio on. Or What we'll do is we'll put it in system mode. You hold up both toggles, turn the radio on. And the first menu that comes up is your helicopter your aircraft set. It can either be aircraft or helicopter. And we've got it set to helicopter. We're going to scroll. There's a reset. If you push both of these up it will reset all of your settings. Up again. Switch assignments. Uh, this switch assignment is for your dual rates. There's three different positions you can have for your dual rates. I have put both elevator and aileron dual rates on the aileron dual rate switch which is on this side. That's only because I want to use the elevator dual rate for my gyro remote gain. Next, gyro remote gain or gear switch. I've got that set to go to switch E, which is the elevator dual rate. Okay, so now I can set my remote gain through the elevator dual rate switch. It's model number one, and the name it's HE1, which is helicopter, and we're back to the main menu. Push both of your toggles up. And we're back into the normal operation of the radio. Okay, now we're going to go into the main helicopter setup since it's already set to a helicopter. Push both of these up, and the first menu that's going to come up is your servo normal or reverse mode, how you can reverse your servos. Right now, the gear servo is in normal mode, pitch is in normal mode, throttle's in normal mode, aileron's reversed. Elevators reversed. Rudder is normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to check some of this stuff. Rudder right now is backwards. So we're going to go to the rudder. And when you give it left stick, it should go all the way out to the tail rudder hub, which it's going the opposite way. Reverse it, and we're all set. Okay, uh, up elevator and the swashplate switching backwards, which is wrong. Ailerons, you give it right, it goes right. You give it left, it goes left. That's correct. And pitch. Right now the pitch is actually backwards. That's not something that is fixed with your servo reversing. We'll talk about that when we get to the CCPM menu. Okay, we've got our servos all operating in the right directions. Next, dual rates. Aileron and elevator, they're both set to 100%. And remember, we put the dual rates on the aileron dual rate switch together. Next is going to be our expo, exponential. We've got 8% set for elevator and aileron. That just makes it a little bit softer at mid stick, a little bit easier to control. Next menu. Next menu is your sub trims. Sub trims are all set to zero for all channels. We'll go to our next menu. All right, this is the gear. These are your travel adjustments. Now the gear was actually set at minus 50 and 100 and plus one. Yeah, it was originally set minus 100 and plus 100. We're using this for our gain. So in hitting hole mode, switch up. I've got it set to plus 50. Switch down normal mode. I got it set to minus 50 and all of our other travel adjustments. Uh, pitch, 100% minus 100%. Okay, we're going to move to the next item, which is our throttle hold. It's set for minus 5% on the throttle. When you hit your throttle hold switch, this will shut your throttle off and allow you to practice either auto rotations. It's also good to hit this switch if a, if a crash is imminent. Uh, it might save some damage. 
and possibly keep you from stripping out the main gears. Okay, next item, pitch curves. This is pitch low normal is the very first one. It's set at zero. So low stick, it's set at zero percent. Half stick at 50% and high stick at 100%. Go to next. This is your stunt mode, your left top switch. And right now it's set on high at 100, low at 0, and mid stick at 50%. Next item, this is going to be your hold setting. You also have a pitch curve for your hold setting, and it's set exactly the same, 0, 50, and 100. Go to our next. This is your throttle curve. Throttle low setting, 0% in normal. TLN. Half stick is 50% and high stick is 100%. The N is flashing, it's in normal mode. Our next one would be our stunt mode, which is we're going to change because we want our throttle pitch to be 100 across the board. So on low stick, we're going to increase it to 100%. At mid stick, we're going to increase it to 100%. And on high stick, it's already at 100%. So our throttle curve is set. Normal mode, 0, 50, 100. Stunt mode, 100 across the board. Next item, Revo mixing. We're not going to use it because we're using a heading hole gyro. If you're using a heading hole gyro, please ensure that this is turned off. Otherwise, you may have some erratic results out of your gyro. Next item. This is your mixing menu. You can set up any additional mixes you care to set up in this menu. We're not setting anything else up additional. Now we go to our CCPM. CC, CCP menu is on. That means we've got three servos, 120 degrees, and they're mixing. First channel is channel two, your ailerons. Remember we said the ailerons were working correctly, so it's at plus 60%. Our elevator is actually working opposite of what it should. It's got plus 60, so we're going to change that to minus 60. And I just use the 60 as a base setting. So now when you pull your stick back, the swash plate, swash plate tilts backwards. Push it forward, it pushes forward. And we still have one more, our pitch, which right now is backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that number to a positive or a negative number. And I'm going to run that up probably as high as minus 70 just to get the full pitch range. Now when you go up with the stick, the swash plate raises, you go down, and it goes down. So negative pitch there, positive pitch here. Half stick, it should be right at about zero degrees pitch. Remember, at half stick, also, all of your servo arms, all of the arms on all of your controls should be 90 degrees. Everything should be nice and straight. We're going to move out of this menu, and we're back to where we started from. Basically, at this point, your radio is set up. Uh, everything's working in the correct directions. You've got positive and negative pitch. Everything should fly well configured just like this radio is right now. To come out of the configuration mode, press both toggles up. You'll get your voltage reading. It's in heli mode, and you're all set to go flying. So what we'll do is we'll go out and run up a quick test flight and see how the radio works.